Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Vellore Institute of Technology, VIT Vellore and it is about their integrated MTech program. So five year program and lot of students have raised query on this. So this video is about that. So first you should know where this program is offered, right? Five year integrated MTech program. In VIT Vellore, there is an integrated program five year which is for integrated MTech software engineering. Similarly, in VIT Vellore, you also have a program for computer science engineering in collaboration with Virtusa and integrated MTech computer science in engineering with specialization in data science. So in VIT Vellore, there are three programs. In VIT Chennai also, there are three programs like MTech in software engineering, right? And MTech in business analytics is a new thing here, which is specialization is business analytics. And then there is an integrated MSc applied psychology for five years right so this is also considered as integrated mtech program now if you talk about vit ap they have only two programs which is integrated mtech with software engineering five years and integrated mtech computer science engineering in collaboration with virtusa in vit bhopal there are three programs and first is mtech in artificial intelligence next one is mtech in csc csc cyber security and the integrated mtech CSC with computational data science. So in this video only I am talking about the integrated courses which are available five year program. Now first uh, let's understand the eligibility for this program. So VIT and VIT Vellore and VIT Chennai has the common eligibility. So for uh, to be eligible in VIT Vellore and Chennai you should have minimum 70% aggregate in physics, chemistry and maths. That is in PCM, you should be 70% and you should be passing from any of the state board, CBSC or any other equivalent board. But if your marks are less than 70% in PCM, then you are still eligible for programs in VIT AP and VIT Bhopal campus. So for eligibility of VIT AP and Bhopal campus, the percentage is little bit lesser, which is 65% aggregate in physics, chemistry and maths PCM. So that's the eligibility criteria. So you understood that there is no entrance examination and it's completely based on the formal or the regular education which you have which you can apply. And this is open to all the residents of Indian National. So clearly it is uh, as it is said that it is on the basis of performance of the qualifying examination which is plus two. Before reviewing the placements and the other details of this course. You should also understand first the fee structure, right? So this fee structure is applicable for three campus, which is Vellore, Chennai and AP campus, right? Bhopal campus has different fee structure, which I will talk later in this video. So for the first three campus, which is Vellore, Chennai and AP, these fees are applicable for first to second and third year. So this fees is common for first three years. So if your merit is very good, you in you are in the top 33% of the students in the seats, then you will get the benefit of category one fees, which is just 96,000 rupees per year in the first, second and third year. So 96,000 plus 96,000 plus 96,000, that will be your fees for first three years. But if you are, your marks are little bit lower than the uh, top marks, then you will get in category two, which is one lakh. 59,000 rupees per year but if your marks are still uh, lower in terms of merit then you can still get in category 3 fees will be 1,92,000 so for category 3 students you know they will, they will have to pay 1,92,000 for first year 1,92,000 for second year and 1,92,000 for third year so this is for VIT Chennai, Vellore and AP campus for the same campuses right in the next uh, you know year which is fourth year and fifth year category wise they are increasing fees by 2000 so 96000 became 98000 now in category 1 159000 became 161000 and similarly 192000 became 194000 in the fourth year in the fifth year again they are increasing little bit fees from the previous year, uh, previous year right so 98000 became 1 lakh 1000, 1 lakh 61000 became 1 lakh 64000, 194 became 1 lakh 97000. So you can see the fees have increased. Now this is the fee structure only applicable for Bhopal campus. Category wise fees starting from 97000, 1 lakh 60000 and 1993 for across three categories. And this is applicable for first year, second year as well as the third year.
in the Bhopal campus also, you know, the category wise uh, fees uh, increases in the fourth and fifth year by slightly. So, two to three thousand rupees extra fees is there across each category and across each year in the Bhopal campus as well. So, before going for the placements part of it, let's understand the application process. So, the cost of application will be around 600 rupees including GST and this is non-refundable. And we have to apply on the VIT Vellore website, vit.ac.in backslash all courses backslash PG. So, there is a place and uh, documents to be uploaded, uploaded is basically your class 10th mark sheet and class 12th mark sheet which is the qualifying examination criteria right and next one is uh, you have to upload your aadhar card so those are the three documents which you need to upload along payment of the online application fix of 600 rupees and that is the procedure and the link to apply so it is very clear that uh, pcm marks will be only added and considered for admission purpose and uh, in case you are coming from different type of boards right they will also do normalization of marks right so different like state boards like uh, cbsc icsc marks will be normalized based on the, the difficulty levels of those boards right and then marks will be taken overall level for merit purpose right and uh, the you know priority will be in that order that first preference will be given to maths second preference to physics and third preference to marks of chemistry so in that order the merit will be pre prepared now let's understand the total seats available and the placements which have been there for last three four years so this is the uh, uh, information as per the nirf document and if you can see here that there are three programs ug programs pg programs and pg integrated program so i am talking only about the pg integrated program in the third line you can see the number of seats in the pg program is 1080 so it was 102 seats which increased to 1080 now from those 1080 students how many of them got placed right so you can see the three year data 2021 batch 632 students were eligible out of 1000 students so four students 400 students were not even eligible to get placed out of 632 who were eligible 410 got placed with the median salary of 4.5 lakhs in the next year in 2022 passing batch 683 students were eligible out of which only 585 got placed right so close to uh, like 60 percent students get placed of the total students who are studying but the median salary increased to 7 lakhs. So, that looks decent increase. In the 2023 batch also out of 1020 students, 502 students were eligible and the place were 455. So, you, uh, so you can understand that approximately 50% of students who are studying in this batch are only getting placed, right? And the median salary remains same around 7 lakhs. So, this is a good option for students who want to do MTech. But definitely, uh, it is not as good as the placements of the your you know BTEC programs, where the median salaries are approximately nine lakhs, and the placement percentage is a little bit higher. So that's all update regarding the integrated MTEC program. Thanks for watching, and uh, please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the uh, deemed universities in India. Take care and bye.